Oh, hello there. I'm resident Dr. Kim, and uh, if you were wondering what I was doing, I was uh, using a Shiatz tonometer to check the intraocular pressure of this donut. And, uh, oh, what's a Shiatz tonometer, you ask? Well, if you'd like to know, I could show you how to use one. Would you like to know how to use one? This is the Shiatz tonometer. Uh, this particular model is improved and made in Germany. If we look inside, you have the Shiatz tonometer itself with uh, various weights, 7.5, 10, and 15 grams. And inside the case, we also find the conversion table for the tonometer. Um, if we pick up the tonometer and we take a look at it, you can see that on the top here, um, we have the grading scales from 0 to 20. And uh, when you get a measurement, the needle uh, should point to one of these numbers. And then, depending on which weight you have, we'll go to the scale and uh, find out what the exact intraocular pressure is. If we look at the bottom portion of the tonometer, you can see the plunger, um, which goes in and out right here. And if we look at a schematic, that plunger would be denoted by the part of the tonometer in the schematic that has the F arrow over it. And so you can see that the intraocular pressure of the patient's eye opposes that plunger, um, and so that force is then translated through the plunger, up through the tonometer, which tips this scale, and then we can take a reading off of the scale. So what we would do is we would take our patient and we would take this weight off his face and we would have his anesthetized eye gently place the tonometer over the patient's eye holding the sides of it with the thumb and forefinger and we would rest it then on the patient's cornea the center part of the patient's cornea and then we would take a reading and on this patient we get a reading of five and then what we do with that reading of 5, since we were using a 7.5 weight, you would say I have a tonometer reading of 5, and you look on the top for the tonometer weight of 7.5, and that correlates to an intraocular pressure of 26. And that is basically how you use the Shiatz tonometer. So that concludes the uh, very first ever how to use a Shiatz tonometer uh, video ever placed on the internet and for the 12 of you in the next 100 years that has to do a presentation on how to use this arcane device, you're welcome.